Aquarius couples, welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. At the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. So it looks like you have an offer coming your way. Now, I want to say this again. I can, I can already tell by looking at the cards that there is an ex coming back. And I had a comment <laughs> saying that I'm saying this along the entire Zodiac. And I believe that I did address that in a few of the, of the um, general readings. That this is happening across the entire Zodiac. This isn't something that I'm making up. I don't control what the cards say. I'm, all I do is read the cards, and if it happens to happen across the entire Zodiac, then that's beyond my control. Also, um, if you take a look at the other YouTube channels as well, um, with the other readers, you'll see that it's, it's um, a, a recurring theme. Um, so it's not just on my channel that this is happening. This is not something that I fabricated at all. This is just um, this is just what ha what happens to be going on. Just like over the summer, people were breaking up. Now that karmic cycles um, were kind of eclipsed out um, at the end of summer, people are now. It looks like it's it's just a, a common trend across the entire zodiac that people are contemplating going back to an ex. Um, again, it's not it's beyond my control. I'm just the reader here. I'm just the messenger. So. With that said, please know that these messages may not resonate with everyone because these are general readings. And um, please check your moon and rising signs in case this doesn't resonate. Let's get right into it. So we got the five of wands. So there's some type of conflict couples going on maybe in your current situation. Um, there is definitely communication issues. There's been a breakdown in communication. Um, there's been a lot of bickering, a lot of fighting going on lately in your situation. There's also a lot of dwelling on the past and crying over spilled milk. And the thing that I usually say about the Five of Cups is that you can't move forward looking behind you. Um, so it's kind of, it, it's good to visit the past because we can see maybe where we went wrong. But we can't stay there. We have to pick up and move forward. And it looks like that's what one of you is kind of dwelling on the past and maybe kind of, maybe that's what you guys are fighting about so much. There's, there's an overall feeling of disappointment as far as, you know, how things have played out in this relationship, but it looks like someone is really, someone in your situation is really staying confident, you know, and staying, you know, strong in their standing strong, you know, feeling powerful in their own skin. So that's beautiful. It looks like there's some type of spying energy as well. Someone could be spying on you in the workplace possibly. Um, or you're, you could find that your partner is spying on your, maybe your social media accounts trying to get answers as to what is going on. Because uh, your partner looks at you, not you necessarily Aquarius, but this can go either way. Okay, so anything that I say can go either way. If it's not you, then it's your partner. Okay, so... One of you looks at the other as if you're an emotional manipulator. Um, maybe even having a, a, a little bit of overindulgence in alcohol, okay? Um, but this person is kind of trying to figure out, you know, read between the lines of what's going on. So there may even be some spying, you know, some lie detecting going on. Because this person might suspect that you are dealing with an ex. This person is feels taken for granted. Now you could have um, been talking to your ex behind the scenes because I'm seeing that there were offers turned down in the past. So um, that might be another reason why your partner is spying because your partner feels left in the dark about things. There's some mysticism here. But there, there will be some discovery of information. And like I said, it's, it's through spying. Um, now on to the X issue. Because this is a three-party situation. Someone has, someone's dabbling in two situations. Someone is currently in a relationship, but still talking to someone on the side. Talking to an X, okay? I want to make that clear. Um, so it looks like... 
the person that is doing the talking, the person that is responsible for the, the triangle, the, the love triangle here, is reaching out for forgiveness to their partner. I'm sorry, to the past partner, to the ex. They're, they're looking for forgiveness to the person from the past. So they're going to extend a cup of apology and a cup of, will you give me a chance to try this over again? <clears throat> Now, somebody's intuition is at work. Someone is kind of uh, picking up on this situation and, and kind of like picking up on some clues about what they were left in the dark about. Um, so someone is going to figure this out. The, you know, the, the cat's going to come out of the bag. Someone's going to take action on this ex. Um, yeah, but let's see at, at what cost, though, because there is a discovery of information that's going to come out. Now your current partner or this could be you Aquarius or your partner you could feel that they're withdrawing from the relationship a bit um they're, they're kind of secluding themselves they're 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 not quite as available you could be dealing with a Virgo I'm also seeing Sagittarius things are off balance right now so this person is really doing some soul searching trying to go within to get answers because um, I can't imagine that this is an easy decision to walk away from someone that um, they've invested so much time in. But still, this person is thinking about this ex a lot. And this person is also feeling that um, this relationship that they're currently in has become emotionally imbalanced. And, you know, there's an overall feeling of unhappiness. So the two of you could be living as roommates and this could be like a friends with benefits type of situation. It could have evolved from um, a commitment to friends with benefits. But the thing about it is this is always or not always, but this is for a long time been a three party situation. So um, the commitment hasn't really been there as of late. Okay, so there's some deception going on in the situation or there's a lack of mental clarity, but it looks like you're going to figure that out with your intuition. I can definitely see that there are trust issues in this relationship. Um, yeah, so you may be watching your partner more than uh, usual or vice versa. Someone is really holding back. They don't really want to come out. They might have some type of hidden agenda. And I'm saying this because, like I said before, this person has been reaching out to their ex. And this isn't the first time because, like I said, there was a turned down offer. So they're kind of maybe, like I said, withdrawing and keeping information from you, which is why you're probably feeling like you want to spy. Feeling like some of you feel emotionally drained. Some of you could also be dealing with a Libra. But you feel like you've been dealt some type of injustice. You're, you, um, okay, so yeah, I'm feeling like this could have something to do with your child's other parent because I'm seeing two mothers here and the, the cards are not gender specific. It could be two father, it could be a mother, you know, with two fathers, you know what I mean? Two fathers of the children. Okay, or it could be um, a father with two mothers of their children, you know, one an ex and one that they're currently involved in involved with rather but it looks like someone wasn't able to make a decision in the past but a final decision has been made and someone is going to um possibly pursue this ex okay i'm also saying that some of you could be dealing with a leo as well a leo sun moon or rising in your current relationship you're kind of feeling like the two of you are going around in circles like you're not getting things resolved but it looks like someone now going to rush forward and admit something or this could be some type of a confrontation that someone is making because of the discovery of some information okay and this is what this conflict is about because someone discovered whatever secret that was going on that someone was kind of holding back about and someone is seeing things for the reality of what they are. Others are giving up on this relationship. They're, they're, they're feeling a bit despondent. They're kind of distancing themselves and they're ready to walk away. Uh, some of you might be playing workaholic as well. 
you know, um, working a lot to kind of avoid the issues at home. You spent many sleepless nights about this, trying to figure out what has been going on, trying to piece together some clues. And you feel like your partner's taking you for granted. And so it looks like you may end up taking a break from this relationship because of some secrets. One of you feels as if the other is the soulmate. So whether this is your current situation, you know, the person who's holding on to the situation, um, they may be holding on because they see this person as their soulmate. Now, there are two storylines here. The person that is leaving, the one that is responsible for the love triangle, can see the ex as the soulmate, which is the reason why they're leaving. I'm seeing Pisces as well. But this had to do with some type of secret and someone will ultimately sever the ties and there will be some bitter words spoken and some bitter feelings there. Okay, some of you are definitely dealing with fire signs as well. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Okay, so this is the part of the reading where I pull advice cards for you. So I'm going to pull a finance card for you as well. Um, what advice, Holy Spirit, do you have for the, um, the zodiac sign of Aquarius? Aquarius couples, Holy Spirit. Okay, this popped right out. Donations, tithes, and charitable work. Give cho joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and inspire you. And know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. Okay. So I believe in that give and it will come back to you. Okay. So Holy Spirit, what advice for love do you have for the Aquarius couples? What advice do you have for love for the Aquarius couples? It says opportunity. So I'm going to put that here. Excuse my reach. And I'm going to read this directly from the book. Bear with me. Okay, it says opportunity. Positive growth and expansion is on the horizon for you. This opportunity may bring with it inspiration and insight. Or it could be the chance you've been waiting for to take action on ideas you already have. You may be seeking to manifest the chance to create changes in your career, buy or sell a home, or bring romance into your life. Whatever your desires, your angels are about to open a door of possibilities for you. Step right through. Okay, Aquarius couples, this does it for your weekly reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so by contacting me directly at my website at angelicascensionstarot.com. Or by email at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Please know that I appreciate your loyalty coming back to watch my videos week after week. And for those of you who are brand new to my channel, I offer you a warm welcome. All right, everybody. I will see you again next week. Bye for now.